Hi, I'm Kathy, and today we're going to be showing how we can use the new Tulip Edge device, Edge I.O., to connect analog sensors to Tulip and gain new insights into your machines and their performance. So in this example, we have a CNC mill that's performing some good cuts and some bad cuts. When a bad cut is being performed, you can hear a high frequency shrieking sound. So what we're doing in this example is we've taken an analog vibration sensor and connected it to the Edge I.O. And the sound from this video is getting translated into vibration so that this vibration sensor is picking up the frequencies of sound. We can see here that we have a control chart in Tulip that's showing the peak frequency that the Edge I.O. is detecting during the cuts. And we've set a threshold on the peak frequency so that when there's high frequency content, it is detecting a bad cut, and when there is only low frequency content, uh, it's detecting a good cut. So this data path is going through node red. The Edge I.O. is reading the inputs into its analog port. And then in node red, we're processing the data and finding the peak frequency of the analog data, which is being sampled at 8 kilohertz, so relatively high frequency. So in this example, we're showing how Edge I.O. can monitor vibration or similar sensors to detect whether a machine is performing well or poorly. So in the second demo, we're going to be, instead of monitoring vibration, showing how we can monitor current. Here we have a current clamp, and it's monitoring the current that's going into this Form 3 Formlabs printer, which is currently preparing to do a print. This data is going into a different analog port on the Edge I.O. that's specifically designed for things like current clamps instead of in the previous one, which showed an analog port specifically designed for vibration sensors. So the same thing happens, though, where this data is read by the Edge I.O. and processed in Node-RED. Here, Node-RED is hosting two graphs showing the live data coming in through the sensor. In this first graph, we can see the live time data sampled at 1 kilohertz of the current going into the machine. And on the right-hand side, we can see over time, so in this case, 1,000 seconds, the RMS, or average current, that was going into the machine. This example with the Form 3 printer is showing live data capture and viewing live data on Edge I.O. But our machine learning group is working on ways to take this data and process it to give more insights into your machine and view it in Tulip. This Edge I.O. is actually running some machine learning scripts and sending data to the cloud, where in Tulip, we can see data from an injection molding machine and the current going into it. So here we can see that an injection molding machine, when it's printing the same part over and over again, has a relatively similar looking cycle. And the Edge I.O. is detecting when it sees a cycle and whether that cycle is similar to other cycles. Because if it's dissimilar, that probably means that you have a bad part. So in this dashboard, we can see both the current over time. We can see when the Edge I.O. detects cycles that are dissimilar to others, meaning a bad cycle. The operator could also use things like the detected cycle length and a histogram of the different cycle lengths over time to predict how long their operations might take and how often the parts are good versus bad. So in these two examples, we showed how we can use the new Edge I.O. tulip device and its analog high-speed monitoring capabilities to gain insights into your machine, both with simple anomaly detection and future machine learning opportunities. Thanks for listening.